cut. Uh, we have a decide. Is that zero? Okay. Fleshing out the 10 mil pipette with the platy ammonia solution in a waste beaker before we are going to use it to measure an accurate amount from the stock from the bottle. Remember not to be like it's okay, I'll give you a certain hamburger oh. and not talking about pretty Do you have what? Mills. Is there an absolute uncertainty written on that? Plus or minus? No, there is not. No. Nope. Okay. Continue. <laughs> now, careful not to overfill because you only get one shot. The um, automatic pet thing. Yeah, yeah. And what is the use of this for? Inverting the flask? Yes. Well, uh, if you have cordial, you'll notice that when you mix them together, they don't always mix completely exactly. until you stir it. And putting a glass rod in there is going to be difficult, so we actually invert the flask itself. We just we just diluted it. And it flushing it here. Where is best this? Yeah. you got four minutes at like five cents, so you can make it fast. Yeah, how many? Yeah, you look so focused. That's precision. Are we putting it in the conical flask? Yes, we are. Why is that? Because conical flasks are very easy to swell. Uh, it doesn't all come out, it accounts for it. Yeah, there'll be a small amount of liquid in the very end that's designed. Okay, methyl orange. It won't react. Oh. You have to wait. Okay. So, when are we, so when we, start when are we slowing down? Uh, when you start to see those small volumes making a big color change. Oh, it's gone. Wizardry. Chemistry quizzes. Okay, this, now that it's higher, it's easier for, yeah. for us to swell. Quicker. No, sorry, swelling. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Ooh, that's a nice color. Okay, we just went past. No! 6.8. I don't think we've gone that far past. 6.8. Yeah? yeah that's what the, I think it's on. I think, okay. Because Let's write that really down. down. Let's write that down. 10.8. 10.8 milliliters is our ballpark. The error for our measurement is actually twice the absolute error because we had one error when we when we measured the zero and one more error when we um, measured the second reading. That's, no, that's, that's two measurements for the same device. Uh, point 0.1 actually. There's there's too many zeros. It's a plus or minus. 0 0.005. No, because the most oh, yeah. accurate measurement we can get here is point 0.1 of a milliliter. If you halve that for your absolute uncertainty, but we did two measurements oh, on that. So it's we, only 0.05. I thought so we, it was point, okay. Remember the trick we had last time? We used the water to squirt off the extra droplets. Yep. So where's the squirt? Do you want to use this to squirt off the extra droplets? Yeah, that works too. Rather but, than that, because that's going to happen. Well, it doesn't matter. Though. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter. No, with that, it's so what you want to do is you want to try and achieve the, small, the, the, the slowest drip feed as possible. Like that? Yeah. And perhaps the person who's stirring. Oh, has yeah, it's gonna go anyway. Okay, looks like we're there. Ta da! Squirt it off, squirt it off. So, what do we do with this? Squirt the sides off with this? Of, of the burette, yeah. Okay. With part one, the goal we had in mind was to make a stock solution. And we were trying to go for the ballpark of 0.05 molar, 
but when we actually weighed out the mass, we were going to be off by a small amount. So we need to calculate back again how exactly from this mass of sodium carbonate, how many, mol, uh, how many moles per liter was that in the end. From my group, we measured a mass of 1.07 grams. Um, we had an absolute uncertainty of 0 0.01 grams. Now you will ask me, hang on a second, if this is the degree of accuracy of our weighing balance to two decimal places, and that implies that the last decimal place is an accuracy of 0 0.01 grams. Shouldn't I have divided that in half and written that as my absolute uncertainty? Well, normally it would be true, but in this case, we've actually taken two measurements, which is why it's double what it should have been. We took one measurement when we zeroed the balance, and we took another measurement when we actually put the mass on top of the weighing balance. So that's two measurements, double the absolute uncertainty, so that we get a result of 0 0.01 grams. But when we do our calculations, we can't take this all the way through our calculations, especially if we have multiplication or if we have division. So we need to convert that to a percentage. And the way we do that is we use relative uncertainty. For instance, if this is my absolute uncertainty and I happen to have weighed the mass of an elephant, this is going to be such a small value in comparison to how much I measured that in relative terms, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. However, if this is my absolute uncertainty and I was weighing the mass of, say, a feather, well, that would make a pretty big difference in comparison to how much the feather weighs. I'm going to now use this in my calculations for multiplication and division. So I'm going to take this and put it over here. We wanted to find the concentration of sodium carbonate. Concentration is equal to the number of moles per volume. Our volume that we used was we diluted it up in a volumetric flask, which are about 200 milliliters, with an absolute uncertainty of about 0.25. Now you have to read these values off the front of your glass. I need to convert this absolute uncertainty in terms of relative uncertainty for my calculation, because it actually is going to be doing division later on down the track. We need to calculate the number of moles in, or, in order to calculate the concentrations. And the moles will be the mass, 1.07 grams. The grams are going to cancel. As you can see, the percentage or relative uncertainty has been carried on into my calculation at the very end. Now I have moles. Now I have volume. I can now put this into this equation here and calculate concentration. Now even in divisions, we actually add these relative uncertainties together. And there's our answer.